everybody and welcome to your 21st Allegro HD tutorial and your last um, tutorial on mouse routines for a while. So in this tutorial we're going to be doing a little bit of special um, kind of stuff to make um, to have our own custom cursor in our game. Uh, most times in games you want to keep it simple and most times you use the default mouse cursor but in other times you want to use a special mouse cursor to make your game to fit like your game's theme or whatever and um this is just a trick to do it and it's fairly simple so i'm gonna run you guys through on how to do it so right here um in my folder in my project folder if you've watched my earlier tutorials you know what i'm talking about where we store all our fonts and images and everything I have an image, a bitmap image here called um, pencil and the background's magenta because I only wanna um, if I double click this I only want to get the pencil image I only want to get the pencil part I don't want to get the other background image stuff like that and since magenta is the, is the default transparent color then all of this is going to be transparent in our program so once I got once I get my custom um, image cursor image, you might have to pause this video to get one. But once you get your custom cursor image and you set all the properties and stuff you need for it, like making it magenta, we'll go into our project. And this is project from this is the code from tutorial 19. Um, same code, uh, just a a little bit of stuff added to it. So first we're gonna load our cursor image and um we're going to do that doing load underscore bitmap pencil dot bmp and we have we set the next parameter to null now uh when we scroll down the update loop is the exact same as before um we need to go to our draw so um before what we would do is that we would have our show mouse command um to actually show the mouse to the screen Instead of that, we're gonna do draw underscore sprite. We're drawing to the buffer. We're gonna draw our image, and the position is gonna be mouse X and mouse Y. So what we're basically doing is we're drawing our image in place of the mouse cursor at the current mouse's position on the screen, right? So with that, we'll have a custom image on the screen. And before I do anything, we have to destroy our image that we have loaded and let's run this program and this is what we get so we get I get my custom pencil image on the screen because my custom cursor that I've loaded so it's just basically an illusion we're loading we're displaying our image where the mouse position is on the screen so we're not displaying the default mouse we're displaying our own mouse custom cursor that we have loaded into Allegro so that's a little neat tip and trick that you could use um, if you want to suit your game. So thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and bye.